Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube. So in this video, I will show you how you can achieve neomorphism UI effect or neomorphism UI design on different shapes in Adobe XD or in web pages by using CSS. So I will cover both for you. I will cover Adobe XD as well as web pages. So let's get started. So you need two things for achieving this design. The first is a shadow and the second is a second shadow. Yes, you need uh, two shadows to create this effect and that's all. Now, go to Adobe XD, uh, pick a canvas and give this a background color, any background color, what you like, whatever you like. Now, after that, choose and choose any shape and let's create that shape i will i'm choosing square and give this uh, radius uh, radius looks good that's why i'm giving it now after this we just need to put two sh two shadows on this bo box and we will achieve new morphism ui effect you can give uh, this box color also if you like i'm giving this a same color as the background color because the same colors looks very good in morphism new morphism effect you can also give this a white color it looks good but if you're gonna give a different colors a different color to a background and different color to a shape then it can look little ugly okay um, Actually, it's tough to achieve, you know, good design with different color schemes in this uh, new morphism effect. That's all. Uh, okay, after this, just give this a shadow. Pick the shadow. The first shadow will have negative values. So give this a negative x axis and negative y axis. I'm giving 20, negative 20 on both x and y. And then choose the blur. I'm giving 35 uh, as a blur. You can play with these values. It, these values are not fixed. Okay, you can play with these values. You can change these values. Now, after this, pick, pick a shadow color. I'm choosing a white for this. And I'm giving 50% opacity uh, to the color. And of course, you can still play with these values also. Now, after this, we have to create a second shadow. Now, there is no option for a second shadow in Adobe XD. So what we can do, we can copy this uh, element or shape and you can just paste it over the uh, shape okay that's, that's all and now in this case in in this second shape what we can do we can change change the values of x and y axis so we can achieve a second shadow on other sides so after this here you can see uh, the, there are negative values on x and y axis in second um, box also so what we can do we can give this a positive values so if we go with the positive values and still you can play with these values and also make sure you choose a different shadow color for the second box here. I'm choosing little darker, darker color. So it looks good. And here we go. We have achieved new morphism effect on Adobe XD. Just remove these border from both the boxes. And there you go. We have achieved achieved the effect now let's achieve this effect on web pages by using css i will follow the same instructions in the css case we have little advantage we can put multiple box uh, shadow values okay and one side i will open google, google chrome and in html let's create a div first uh, i'm creating div with the class name of box and that's all we have to do in html and in CSS here you can see I have given this a background color already and now let's create our box with the width width of 200 pixel and the height of 200 pixel and give this a background color also I will give this the same background color and still you can play with the colors and that's all we have to do and the box is created let me put this box in little center that's all you can't see the box because box color is the same as background color so what we can do here i can give this a border to show you what's going on solid and black and now the box is visible to you and 
I am also going to give this a border radius because radius looks really good here and 20 pixel radius that's all now give this a bo bo uh, shadow and the new morphism effect will be achieved here also give this a box shadow property the first shadow will be what we have done here okay the first we have chosen a white and then we have chosen that little darker one so first shadow is a white with the white color and negative 20 pixel on the x and negative on y and it has the 35 percent blur and that's it and then put the comma and enter a new value for the second uh, shadow let me co copy the second shadow color so from here i will copy the second shadow color and that's it put the color of second shadow and give this a positive values now and still you can play with the values and that's all we have achieved that effect in css also just remove this border to none and that's all here you can see we have achieved the effect here also it's very easy thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much bye take care see ya